Some of you may have seen this viral video of a young Publix employee walking an elderly customer across the street in Jacksonville Beach last weekend. It has been viewed at last check more than 52,000 times with comments thanking this young man for his kindness to this elderly woman. It had all of us wondering, who is he and who is the woman that he's helping? So we made some calls, we did some digging, and we found him. This is Vance Panfodder. Good morning. Thank Good you for morning, being here. You. All right, you've got to give us, please, the backstory to this. How did you come to encounter this woman? Initially, when we when we first talked, I thought that maybe she was a regular customer at the Publix, and you do ha you have seen her there occasionally. Yes, ma'am. So how did this come about? So it was just a regular Friday at the customer service desk. Me and Chase Norris were working together, and. Um, she uh, walked in with a uh, USPS mailman, hmm. and um, the mailman was kind of distraught and kind of just uh, pushed her to the side and waited in line for his turn to let us know that she had gotten lost and that she needed to be taken to a certain street to get home safely. So we were kind of confused, so um, I went up and talked to her, and she seemed flustered, so I got her some water and talked it through and um, ended up wheeling her around and doing some shopping before. Because she didn't want to go home until she, because she was on her way to Publix and it somehow become yes, disoriented. she wanted to take a shortcut. She wanted to take a shortcut. Now, for those of you who know, this this happened in Jacksonville Beach near Pablo Towers, which is right there on 3rd Street near Beach Boulevard. It is an extremely busy, extremely busy intersection. So not only then did you help her, but you helped her complete her shopping because she wanted to get her shopping done. And, and you pushed her around in a cart that is made for someone who maybe has trouble walking? Yeah, so it's just a wheelchair <laughs> with a little basket yeah. in the front that flips up I've and down. I've seen those, right? Yeah. And, and so after that, how did you, how, how are you planning on getting her home then? I mean, get, I, I know that she has a son who lives here, but I know that he was traveling at the time. Well, after we did all the shopping, I went up to the desk and asked my manager um, if it was okay if I could walk her home. <laughs> um, I asked her if she had any way to get home, like through Pablo Towers or anybody that she knew, and she said no. So. I didn't see any problem with it. And you knew that she needed help getting home. I, I just want to show this video again because, quite frankly, I can't see it enough. What did you think? Because I know that you didn't know that someone was vi videotaping this. What did you think when you saw this video on, on social media and so many people commenting um, on it? It was, it was kind of surreal at the, at the same time. It felt like, uh, I don't know, like <laughs> something I never thought that would ever happen, you know? like. And what kind of feedback have you received? I know that one of the comments was from your uh, your teacher, your previous teacher at Fletcher High School, who said, you know, that's that's Vance. He's such a great young man. <laughs> yeah, just lots of positive feedback um, from those people and also from my associates at Publix being very nice. And, uh, you know, it's just a... Fun time, I guess. You seem very <laughs> humble to me, Vance. I have to tell you. Okay, so I want to give our viewers a little bit of background because I, I ended up finding Eleanor Katz is the woman that you saw there. She's 90 years old. I found her son, Tommy. He says that she really is not supposed to go anywhere by herself, but she has a cat. And if she runs out of food, she gets antsy. And that is why she went to the grocery store because he was traveling at the time and was not there when she called to take her to Publix to get some cat food for her beloved cat. He, though, Tommy, sent us a message that he wanted for us, Vance, to deliver to you. And this is it. Back to Pablo Tower across the street. And I owe you a lot of gratitude, Vance, and thank you again for being so helpful and taking care of my mom in this uh, time of need. And thank you. She is so sweet. And I have to tell you, we also invited Eleanor to come on here because I'm sure she would love to speak with you. She's under the weather, has an infection right now. She's going to be OK, but she wasn't able to join us. So um, I, I also want to share, if we can, if you don't mind, your mom is here with you. And I asked her if she wanted to come on, but she's a little camera shy. And she said that this is the type of fine young man you are. What do you attribute your just kindness too. Is it your upbringing? Is it the people that you've surrounded yourself with in, in these last 18 years of your life? Well, I've always hung on to um, treat people the way that you would want to be treated. So working at Publix, always working with a smile. I would want to come in anywhere and see someone smiling at me. And if I needed a way to get home and didn't know where I was, then I would want someone to do what I did and help me home.
Well, you are an example um, and should be an example to everyone raising children right now. I'll tell you that. I want to bring in Dwayne Stevens, who's with Publix, by the way. Uh, Dwayne, good morning. Thank good you morning, for being here. You and I have been back and forth yes. on the phone for the last couple of dry, j days trying to get this young man right. in here. Dwayne, what is it like having an employee like this? I mean, what did you think when you saw the video? Well, I, I, I was astounded like a lot of folks were. But I tell you, we're just very, very proud of Vance, you know, having that servant heart. And thankfully, he works in an environment within his store that perpetuates that. Yeah. So it allowed him to be himself to serve in a way that he was brought up with his fine family. So we're just so proud of him. And you truly exemplify uh, the, the standards that your mom and your, your, mom and your family have uh, instilled in you. And also, our founder, George Jenkins, you know, he, he started out his first grocery store in 1930. He wanted to be more than a grocery store. He wanted to make sure that we treated our associates and our customers like kings and queen. And she was certainly a queen that day <laughs> when she, she met Vance. <laughs> Dwayne, thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you for all that you do. I really appreciate it. It's wonderful. And I do want to point out, as I've learned now in talking with everyone, Dwayne, you can stay here with okay. us. Okay. Right? No, we want you here with us. So there is also another Good Samaritan. You mentioned it. There was a mailman who found, uh, you know, uh, Mrs. Cass kind of wandering outside and brought, brought her inside. We would love to also honor that mailman for being so kind. He could have kept driving. But he didn't. He stopped and found her. So if you know who this mailman is that was working in Jacksonville Beach, please email us at morningshow at WJXT.com.